Hi guys, my name's Caitlin, and some of you might have seen a short film that I made called Spark recently. And by some of you, I mean 200 and some thousand of you. And that is crazy for me to even believe that that many people have seen something that I've made, so. All I have to say is thanks. <laughs> No, but seriously guys, um, a lot of you all have tuned into it and have a lot of questions for me. Four big main questions, I would say. Um, but first things first, let me give you a little bit of background on me. Um, my name is Caitlin Murray. I am a recent college graduate. I just graduated from Virginia Tech in May. Go <laughs> home, peace. I studied uh, multimedia journalism, theater performance, and cinema production when I was in college. Um, and right now I am located in Charlotte, North Carolina. We filmed the short film Spark in Blacksburg, Virginia, where Virginia Tech is. And um, Micah and Molly, the two actresses, the, the two lead roles, they were friends of mine and they were also in the theater and cinema department. So yeah, so that's kind of just the basis for how Spark kind of became and what you need to know the basics about Spark. So first things first. Are you triggered? Because a lot of you really didn't like the lighter. And I can't say I blame you. Um, now that I've gone back and rewatched it, you guys pointed it out. I can see how it might be a little annoying, but there actually was a good reason behind why I did that. And um, it's because it was a part of my assignment. I had to make the film for a class and the teacher decided to, to make a part of the assignment adding symbolism into, into film so we could find other ways of showing and portraying our theme than just having someone flat out say it or do it, you know? So some of you Nancy Drews in the comments actually um, picked up why what the, the lighter symbolized and that was, it was to symbolize the moments that the two characters clicked, that they had a connection. Um, but it wasn't originally, the idea originally wasn't always gonna look like that and kind of be a big lighter like it was. Um, I actually w was kind of hoping it was gonna be like a Zippo lighter and it was gonna kind of be a twitch of Tessa's. So it was more of like, instead of her flipping it, it was her flipping the top of it and closing it. But um, I procrastinated because I was a college student and I couldn't find a Zippo lighter anywhere in Southwest Virginia when I was making the film. So a red big lighter is what you got. Um, yeah, so I know you guys don't like the lighter. So we won't do that anymore, okay? In the future, if there is a story between these two characters, the lighter, yeah, it's, it's just gonna go. The second thing you guys were very vocal about was the fact that they did not kiss. I just didn't feel like the kiss was that necessary. I mean, you still got the gist that the two characters connected and even better, like it left it off to the audience for you to decide, okay, well like now what do they do? Now who are they? Like what's their connection now? Are they gonna be together? Or are they gonna be friends? Or are they just gonna part ways? And that was gonna be their only connection together. I don't know, you know, that's up to you guys. And that is a reason that I wrote it the way that I did is because the location where we filmed it, uh, Blacksburg, Virginia is located in Southwest Virginia and that's a pretty conservative area. So I really wanted to challenge the people and you know, the audience there. Well, what are they okay with? The whole point of a film is no matter what their relationship is, you're rooting for the two characters, right? You're rooting for them. So for the people, for people that aren't necessarily in the community or don't really have any experience with them, I really wanted to challenge them as an audience member. Um, now for you all in the community that I've taken with it, oh my gosh, it's been incredible. And it's actually kind of crazy because um, you guys have pointed out that it reminds you a lot of Carmilla, the web series. And may I just say, I am flattered because I am a cream puff. Hey, hey, hey. I think it's really funny that you guys made that comparison. It, it was 
an, an inspiration as in it was an LGBTQ plus related uh, media that I watched before writing it. But other than that, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't like a direct correlation. I wasn't really thinking about Carmilla when I was making it. I had watched the series like months prior to making the actual film. Um, and when I wrote the script, Micah, I had Micah in mind to play the role. And I actually had myself in mind to play Tess. Micah is Jane and myself is Tess. But my professor encouraged me to challenge myself and um, actually just fully stuck behind the camera for this one. And so I accepted the challenge because I'm competitive. <laughs> and um, Molly was, you know, I, I had also thought about her possibly playing the role and you know, it took a while to work around our schedules, but we finally did. And so Molly got the role as Tess and um, we kind of, I styled her how I imagined I would have dressed or whatever. And it just so happens that I think that Molly and Natasha look a lot alike. So that's probably why you made the, the correlation. Yeah. Um, but now like people that are saying it, I can go back and totally see it. So, but anyways, yeah, I'm flattered. Wasn't intentional, but hey, what a, Cool coincidence. And Natasha Neko Vanless, if you are watching, you can call me literally anytime. My number is 804. Um, and lastly, the last question you guys really have really been asking about is what now? Um, I wrote this film initially just for the class and just, you know, as a standalone short film. But you guys have received it amazingly and um, are actually demanding that I make more and show you more from these characters and if that's something that you guys want I'll totally do that. I've actually um, been in talks with Molly and Micah and they are game as well. So subscribe and uh, you guys will definitely be getting some more spark content your way. Just leave in the comments down below some things that you guys might like to see um, in terms of web series um, or another short film like a pre or a sequel or a prequel or whatever because right now I'm just kind of getting the wheels a turn into my head about where could we take this and what can we do with it now. Um, the next video that you guys can see from me is I'm gonna do a commentary on the short film. I'm actually gonna watch it and then comment along with it. Some of the behind the scenes fun stuff and I might even grab Molly and Micah for a few little snippets. So if that's something that you guys wanna see, uh, drop a like or comment down below. Make sure that you guys subscribe and keep sharing the video spark. Um, again, guys, thank you so, so much for everyone that's watched it and um, to all of you out there in the comments that are talking about, you know, that this film has really helped you or you hope that one day you can find your, your Jane or your Tess, believe me, your time will come. And in the meantime, you have this whole community, myself included, here to support you. Um, I was in your shoes two years ago when I wrote this film and look at me now. Uh, if you told me two years ago I would have been sitting in front of a camera and 220 some thousand people would have seen this film then I would have called you crazy. But here we are. So don't give up, keep hope, and know that you are loved. So thank you guys so much again for tuning in and watching and I'll catch you later or whatever YouTubers say. Bye!